Watergate pales in comparison to this investigation? <laughs> That's my reaction. What are we talking about here? Let, let me step back. In my world, I know former director Clapper. He's served, I think, more than 50 years in government. He's very well respected in the intelligence community as a nonpartisan actor. That said, what the heck are we talking about here? In Watergate, we had a president resign. We know what happened was a criminal act, that is, beginning with the break-in of Democratic offices. We know there was a cover-up. There's been decades of coverage of that. We know there is wrongdoing up and down the administration of Richard Nixon. What do we know in this case? We don't know exactly what happened during the election, whether there's any collusion. The only thing we know for a fact in one circumstance is General Flynn made an ethical violation lying to the vice president that led him to be fired. That's not a legal violation. We don't understand what the cover-up is here. We have a president who's nowhere close, obviously, to resigning. That would be ridiculous or being impeached. And we want to compare that to Watergate. The, the concern I have with uh, former DNI Clapper is that going into this environment, he is undercutting his credibility by comparing this to Watergate. How do you look at someone with that kind of history and say, I can believe him? Especially when another one of his most quotable moments, though needs proper context, Abby, is when Clapper said, I've seen no proof of collusion. Now, when we had him on the show, I tested him on that, and he said, well, that's because I wasn't overseeing the case. I don't know what the book is on the case. I don't know the evidence, so how could I know what they have about collusion? But still, when he's out there saying, I don't know about any collusion, and then he says it pales in consideration to Watergate, how do you reconcile those? Yeah, exactly. I mean, and, and also, he, he made it clear earlier that he wasn't even aware on, about certain parts of this investigation. Right. Um, he His knowledge of it would have ended on January 20. So there is a lot, uh, there are a lot of questions here about what, on what basis is he making some of these statements? 